This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. So let's go ahead while people are still taking their seats and, and let me tell you about the excitement around what you're going to see next. Um, we really wanted to bring the arts into Global Health Day and as you noticed um, in the, the hallway, um, I hope you'll, you'll all take time to look at the um, fantastic photos that have been put up there by two of our faculty, um, Mary Christopher's um, photos from Egypt where she was a Fulbright um, fellow during the, the year of the Arab Spring and um, our own co-chair of the planning committee, Mark Schenker, um, has some spectacular photos from his um, travels, mostly in Mexico, mostly in Mexico. Um, anyway, they, um, I, we wanna thank them very much for um, putting up their photos on display. And then the other um, arts that we uh, wanted to bring in is, is uh, the video competition. And this is the, the first year that we really had a, a completely um, open cross ten campus um, video competition. Um, and the purpose of the video competition was really to highlight the passion um, and, and to tell you a bit about the experiences that, that our students um, throughout the UC have had in global health why they're so excited about global health. Um, and also to see how they could um, begin to put that excitement and energy into a form that a diverse audience like yourself would, uh, would be able to enjoy and get excited about global health. So the video um, contestants were all asked to address at least one of the three questions. What inspires you to work in global health? What have you gained from your global health experience? Or what does global health mean to you? And we have the honor of showing the winners, uh, the top three um, contestants in that, that competition. Um, but first, I'd, I'd like to um, thank uh, our um, sponsors who uh, are contributing to this, um, the School of Veterinary Medicine, the School of Medicine, and the Chancellor at UC Davis have, have all um, contributed to UC Global Health, especially to, to fund some of Pat's crazy ideas. <laughs> and, uh, and also a very special thanks to the Mich Michelle Chan and Patrick Su Shi Yong Foundation, family foundation that have been very strong supporters of the UC Global Health Institute, having given $4 million um, to the Institute um, over the last couple of years, and most uh, recently, uh, premier courtside Lakers tickets to the winner of the video competition. So now everyone's excited. So the order that we're gonna show the videos is going to be the, our third place winner, um, the third place winner was Claudia Gilmore Gutierrez from UCLA. Uh, second, right. so uh, unfortunately Claudia couldn't be here, so, um, but our, our next two winners are, and I'm gonna introduce them at the end so we can hold the applause on, on them. Uh, the second place winner was uh, Radhika Gopure from UC Davis, and the first um, place winner was Nastara um, Rundawa from UC Davis, and you'll get a chance to meet them at the end. Okay, so are we ready? All right, we're ready to see the videos. What inspires you to do global health? <laughs> Hilda and I were on a mission. We had lives to save and medical providers to train, but time was running out. We needed community women to convince others to come to the clinic to get checked. Nothing works better than word of mouth and a five-star review. One patient volunteered to help. She had a sweet smile on her old wrinkly face as she waited nervously to get screened. She'd heard about cervical cancer, but she was scared. In Zambia, K-12 
cancer is usually a death sentence. Cervical cancer takes away more women than any other cancer. The idea of prevention was just as foreign as the young white Mzungu standing in front of her asking for help. But she wanted to get checked anyways. She wanted to make sure she was healthy. So that morning, she banded together with her friends from the village and marched 10 kilometers from home, all in the name of prevention. Five years ago, my world changed with a phone call. I heard the genetics counselor hesitate. And then she told me that I tested positive for my family's broken gene. Odds are I would get breast and ovarian cancer at some point in my life. Suddenly my time for this world felt very, very short. Eventually I realized I could use this information to change my destiny. So I traded in my deadly breast tissue for silicone implants and shared my story with a whole lot of people. I wanted my sisters and friends to know that you don't have to wait for cancer. You can stop it from happening in the first place. After the operating room, I found my way back to the classroom because I don't want anyone to suffer needlessly from cancer. And I mean anyone, from the rich and famous in Southern California to the elderly woman from a rural village in Zambia. Global 
health to me is about the health of an entire system. The pale blue dot that we call home, according to Carl Sagan. The one on which every human being that ever was has lived out their lives. We live in an era of globalization where the entire world is our backyard. And yet, profound health disparities stare us in the face. The very diseases we attempt to control skip continents in the blink of a flight. Our health is intrinsically bound to the land we live on and the multitudes of species we share our planet with. Whoever we are, wherever we are from, and however we might live, we share the same resources under a common sky and the same basic needs for health. I'm inspired by the youth around the world who put aside the differences and stand as one for the future of life on this planet. It draws me out of my shell and makes me want to join forces with them in service to others. Ultimately, we are like specks of dust in the universe's web of life, and yet we have the ability to affect positive change, much like millions of butterfly effects. So it, unfortunately, Claudia can't be here, but, um, but Radhika and Nastira are here, and I'd just like to ask them to come up, please, quickly, um, so you can see who they are. Don't be shy. Um, so this is Nastira and Radhika, so, so they and the other um, inspired videoists um, that we, uh, we had the honor of seeing their videos, and we hope that this also will inspire future Global Health Days um, to, uh, to have video competitions. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank you.